What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Welcome to Big Pier. Very quickly going to be renamed to Perilous Pier, our Halloween-themed park. I think this park is going to be amazing for this theme, and I've already got some good ideas, and I'm very much looking forward to it. It's going to be cool. Uh, just to recap our objective here uh, from last episode... For Perilous Pier, our objective is to convert this Sleepy Town's Pier into a thriving attraction. We need to have at least 600 guests by year two, or the end of year two, with a park rating of at least 600, which I think is very doable. And we're going to start off by making this park look the way I want it to feel. We're actually going to do red paths with this kind of metal-looking support structure. We did this a little bit in um, our last park. Atlantic Oasis and I think it looked really nice and I think this is going to really add a kind of creepy vibe to this park. I think the wood looks a little bit too inviting <laughs> and so I want to make sure it looks kind of gruesome. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of blacks, a lot of whites, a lot of reds, a lot of oranges in this park. Uh, black and orange, black and red, black and white. Everything's going to have some black to it probably. So prepare yourselves for that and look at that. We already got some rain which I am all about because that's going to make this feel even creepier especially once we get some lightning going oh it's going to be nice all right let's go ahead and build some rides real quick get people in here and you don't see this too often <laughs> absolutely zero transport rides uh, let's go ahead and start with a scrambled egg and one thing i tested on this park already is that when you build something it builds it at the level of the walkway which is kind of nice so we're going to do Probably the entrance and exit just like that. And this will allow two tiles worth of entrance. I might do a little bit more than that, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Just to kind of fill out some of this space. And I love the way that looks on the on the line, too. That looks really nice. Scrambled Eggs 1 is going to be named Deviled Eggs. <laughs> it's such an easy name. It's an egg theme. And man, it's it works so well. All right, so let's up the rotations. Uh, plane style, we're actually going to do canvas style on this entire park. So for deviled eggs, I want this to be black and red. Very just aggressive in your face red. I don't think, actually that looks kind of dark and ooh, I kind of like that better. We'll do that. And then we'll also do black and red for the ride itself. Although I think the brighter red here is going to stand out more. There we go. Uh, this park is actually so small, we're only going to hire two mechanics for the entirety of it. Boom. We're done hiring mechanics, and we're not even going to give them walkways because they can go wherever they want. Uh, these guys, we're going to give them black uniforms and our handymen, uh, which we will assign footpaths. We'll give these guys... Oh, this is going to be difficult to do. <laughs> uh, we'll probably only assign four handymen four handymen for this park. And I think that's covering all of that. There we go. We'll just kind of have them cover a quadrant each. Uh, but what was I saying? I don't remember. <laughs> Something about our handymen. Yes, our handymen. We're going to make them orange, I believe. I think that will look... Let's actually find out right now. Let's see how that looks. Black and orange staff. I like it. We'll start out just with that. And you actually, you could just see it there. Or actually, you couldn't see it. It doesn't show you where our park border is. There's actually no fence. Uh, but where where it starts sloping down is where we no longer own the land. So we own all this flat land. So our park is actually extremely small. But we don't need too much space for a two-year park, I don't believe. I kind of want to do all of our small rides just in this section right here. And so we can put these back to back with the exit onto the main path there. And I wanted to paint this right away because that looks ugly. Let's do this black and orange. Oh, yeah. And then that's orange and white. Orange and black. Let's actually do black and white on the top and then orange on the side. Yeah, there it is. Merry-go-round one. We need to add a line. And we need to add 
I'm. It's sad, but we don't actually start with a haunted house on this park. So we don't have the staple of a creepy themed park. Merry-go-round one, we're going to name... Nope, get that music out of here. That is not at all creepy. Um, our merry-go-round one name is going to be... All right, sorry, I've got another list made for this one. Murder go round. Murdered go round and round. All right, and that's open. We're starting to get a little bit of the chatter of our guests in our park, which is always nice. And I realized I didn't adjust the price on this. Two thirteens, we can charge two ten. And then murder go round is a dollar eighty. All right, there we go. We can start making some money off that. Let's go ahead and add the very few shops and stalls we do have here. And we'll add these all along just this main, just this first part right here. And I do want to try to be somewhat conservative with our space in this park because we don't have a lot of it. So I am going to try to do this all kind of tight and in these open spaces that we have here. Uh, we need to add a drink stall as well. We can do the information kiosk right there in the middle. I think that would look nice. Normally, I'd say we can do it. Actually, we don't have one yet. Uh, we'll do the restroom on the end. Ten cents, as always. And then I think we forgot to build the drink stall. I think that's the one we skipped over. And we don't have an info kiosk yet, but we're going to do... I think orange umbrellas? Orange and white? I think that could look nice. All right, let's give our guests something thrilling to go on. Let's build a steel mini coaster. Uh, and I've already decided on this one. I checked before I started this park that we have the option to do, um, what are they called? The spinning cars. So four, five, six, seven. We're not going to be making our station platforms incredibly long in this park because we don't really have the room to do that, nor do we need that much. Uh, but I was playing around with this design a little bit, and I think it looks really nice. It actually fits perfectly underneath, so I think that could look really cool. And on this, we can turn it up and go this direction with it. And one thing about this style of uh, cart that I'm building is I'm not able to do uh, steep or not steep, banked turns. It is not an option. Uh, so I need to try and, I don't know. I can do this kind of stuff. Uh, land not owned by park, oops. Can I go this way with it? I think I can, just not with that. Uh, so we started at 17. So let's actually drop it, or not drop it, but we'll turn it and then we'll drop it. Eventually. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is going to look really cool, I think. I am excited for this. And then I think I can get... If I can share that tile, that'd be nice. But I can't. That's okay. I kind of want to take, take up this... I don't know. What if I go just like underneath all of this? We're not really using it so far. Uh, and that's dropping from 14 down to 8. So I want to make sure to stick with these uh, kind of wider pieces here. Oh, this is so cool. You can't even see it either, which is... I don't know. I think it's cool. Uh, is that not owned by our park? There we go. This might be extremely intense. I haven't built one of these in a very long time. Uh, if that's going to run into it, that's okay. We'll just make this go straight a little bit more, and then we'll go up. Maybe even more than that. Actually, we're going to have to turn it and then connect it back up. And we're going to lose some station, but that's okay, because I think the trains on this are very short, so we'll be able to get quite a few. Not that this is a super long ride to begin with. Uh, but we'll do the entrance and exit on opposite sides there. And let's make this... It's already black. It's got a lot of black. 
Let's do black and white. Would this look any better? Yeah, I like that better. It's a little bit darker. The white is less intense, which I like. All right, so black and white canvas style gives us black and white as well. Uh, all in the same colors. Actually, we need to change our car design to spinning cars. We can get two trains with four cars per train. Or four trains with two cars per train. I actually want to try that. It's the same amount, but this will kind of space our guests out longer or further apart, which I think will work out for the best. So we're going to make this kind of loop around here just to extend the line a little bit because I think this will be fairly successful as long as as long as I built it decently. But all right, let's paint these up. Let's do again. We're going to do black with white uh, because I'm wanting to name this one Undead Nightmare. All of our names are going to be very... Very dark. Very dark indeed. And we just got a log flume. I've even noticed I'm talking different this episode. I'm talking in a little bit of a deeper voice just to give it... Nope, I need to test that first. Let's see how Undead Nightmare performs. That's actually really cool. Such a simple ride, but oh, that's so cool. I love that that design, the spinning cars. That's so cool. We'll test that once more just to hopefully get results sooner and we'll go ahead and open it. Ooh, that's nice. High intensity, medium excitement, 459. Uh, one thing I need to keep in mind on this park is that since everything is so close together, there's a good chance I'm gonna up the excitement of everything with pretty much everything I build. Uh, not those, but with coasters, if I build anything over this, it's gonna probably up the excitement of Undead Nightmare. So that will definitely help. Let's go ahead and hire our last two handymen real quick. Uh, and I'm being very uh, generous in the footpaths I lay so that I don't have to cover, or I don't have to come back and do this again at all. I do this once and I am done. So this is the only handyman and mechanic hiring I will be doing this entire game. Or this entire park, at least. And that should be every tile. I think handyman won. Where are his footpaths? Is he over here? Is it handyman 2? I need to find the guy... There we go. I think it's this guy. This guy needs to have all of these as well, because when we do expand out, that is going to be part of our park. And that is it. We are done with handymen. That is it. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and hire two security guards as well. And we'll make these guys orange as well. Black and orange. There we go. I like it. And then we're not going to hire any entertainers, because there's no spooky entertainers, which I really really wish there were, but there's not. And there's no land on this park to even place decorations on. So unfortunately, we will not have the ability to decorate too much in this park, but I think it'll be okay nonetheless. The, the vibe, I think, will come off just fine with our names and our color scheme. It's going to be... Whew, it's going to be awesome. Like I said last episode, Halloween is one of my favorite seasons or holidays. Uh, Christmas or the holidays, the time that surrounds Christmas, that is my favorite time of year. But just the holiday itself, I think Halloween is definitely my favorite. Uh, when I was in college, I was actually in a fraternity. 
And our fraternity for our philanthropy event, we did, we built and operated a haunted house. So for four years, for charity, I got to scare the crap out of people for like seven or eight days leading up to Halloween every year. And it was so much fun. I got a lot of cool techniques for scaring people and... <laughs> Oh, I loved it. It was so much fun. So I'm trying to do... I'm trying to be a little consistent here with where I place... Uh, light posts. I'm kind of doing three at the junction. One in the middle, one on the corner. One in the middle-ish. Three at the junction. One in the middle. Corner. You guys get it. There we go. And then we'll get the middle of each of these kind of cross sections here as well. And those, those are our light posts. Perfect. And we'll add just a few trash cans. But yeah, I used to love scaring the heck out of people for charity. <laughs> it was so much fun. I actually dressed up as a clown. Uh, if I can find a picture of it. Nope, not what I meant to do. If I can find a picture of myself as a clown, I will post it. Because, oh, I forgot to do light posts over here. Because I thought it looked really creepy. <laughs> and I got told it looked very creepy by a lot of strangers <laughs> that I got to scare the crap out of. Which was so much fun. Okay, enough story time. Let's build something else. We don't have a ton of money, and we're not going to for a little bit. I checked on our loan, and we're able to take out up to 20 grams, so we can take out an additional 10 if needed. Um, do I have... I don't know if I want to do a boat hire yet. Uh, but we can do a Ferris wheel. And I said I wanted to do my... Let's try to see if we can make them all... What? Did I place that? I didn't mean to do that. I want to see if I can run this right on the back side of all of this. And I think that lines up nicely. And it actually looks kind of cool with all the all the bases being the exact same. They're all kind of part of the same thing, which I think looks really nice. And I don't think I've ever done my exit on the side, which looks kind of cool. You'd actually get off and walk. I don't know. I think that's nice. Let's go ahead and get the entrance set up here. Again, we're not going to make it too long. Let's actually, yeah, we'll go back out on the side there. I think that could be nice. We already have 213 guests in our park. We're already a third of the way to meeting our objective. For our Ferris wheel, uh, as far as the paint scheme goes, I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I do want to name it the Wheel of Death. Which sounds way more intense than it actually is. And let's actually do backwards rotation. Because that's totally scary. And what's max on this? Eight. I'm actually going to cut that down to four. Um, why? I'm not completely sure. But I think eight is a little bit too long for this. Uh, but let's go ahead and test and open the Wheel of Death. While we paint the Wheel of Death. What if we just do this one all black? That looks kind of cool, actually. I'm really liking that. Normally, I don't ever do all of the same color. But on this, being the wheel of death, I think that works. I like that. We're going to keep that. Uh, we can charge a buck 60. And this is so nice, not having to hire handyman or mechanics. Oh, I wish every park was this simple to do that on. All right. Do I have... I haven't checked maximum funding, and I don't need ride improvements. Um, shame on me. I need to always do that in the very beginning. I don't know why I always forget. Um, and we'll probably uncheck shops and stalls as soon as I get an info kiosk. Actually, no. I still need my balloons. As soon as we get an info kiosk and balloon stall, we will uncheck shops and stalls. So that way we can focus on getting everything else. Um, we can get a spiral slide here later this month. Any day now, actually. In about a week. Uh, but until then, I want to build something else. Do I do a car ride or do I do a log flume? Car rides are cheaper and we don't have a ton of money. 
I'm going to start with a car ride. Um, I don't think I'll have time to build this and a log flume in this episode. But I can definitely add a spiral slide, which I'm thinking can go right here to kind of fill out this area, which I think would very well utilize all of this space. And I'm actually... Okay, I'll, I'll come back to that later. But let's get a car ride going. And I want this to be... Let's build it in the back corner here. Actually, no. Let's do it in the front corner. Um, and I think we own this tile. But I'm not sure how far back we own. So let me check that first. Okay, so we can back it off by one there. And we'll actually... We can't turn it this way because that's the edge of our park. So if we turn it here, and then it'll end up coming from ground level, we can do our entrance and exit going over that level all right that should be plenty i don't know how many i just did but that should be good uh, but let's go ahead and i want to make this very tight i want to make it not go too much further beyond um uh what am i saying beyond this walkway right here so that's probably as far as we're gonna take it and i don't want to just keep it all on one level. I want this to kind of weave in and out and over top and around and I want it to really get kind of messy. Uh, and if we start dropping this here, actually that looks kind of cool. It runs right along the pathway there. And then we can drop it down to make room for our entrance, which will go probably right over that eight tile. And then let's go back around this direction. Oh, man. I Just having a theme in mind makes building stuff so much more fun. Like, normally a car ride is not something I would get excited about. But I've got a name in mind and I, I know what I want to do with it. And so that, to me, makes it so much cooler. Uh, so let's actually turn that. I think I can go back up right here. What's in the way? Car right in the way? Oh, I'm running into that one right there. Okay, so if I just turn... No. There we go. But yeah, just having a... Never mind. Having a theme in mind and a color scheme and I know how this is going to end up looking, it's, it makes it that much more fun to create because I know it's not just going to be a boring car ride when I'm done with it. It's going to be something awesome. And I'm having difficulty seeing where I'm lining up. There we go. All right, so let's bring this... I'm going to bring this back around here. Actually, no, I need to probably keep that at ground level. Oh, uh, man, I'm run just running into everything I build here. We'll loop this around. We'll try to end it here soon. Uh, but this is going to be quite the car ride. And I'm hoping it will be... What the heck? Did I accidentally connect it? Oh, I... <laughs> I forgot I had built that part right there. And it actually ended up connecting. So I guess we'll call it there. Perfect. That worked out better than I planned. And the entrance and exit can actually go right next to each other. The exit looks like it's floating, which it is. And that's going to be the case wherever I put it, it looks like. And the entrance is going to float if I move it there. That's all right. The supports from these will make it look better than it does. And let's go ahead and take out a grand just so we can build our walkways here. And I think that's a long enough line for a car ride. It doesn't need to be super long. The cars are only two people anyway, so. And I think I do want to do sports cars just because it gives us more people. And for this one, this is actually kind of a goofy name, but these are going to be our clown cars. <laughs> Not very menacing, but I love most people absolutely hate clowns. I actually like them just because I've been one and gotten to scare people as one. 
And I know how much some people hate clowns. And it makes it that much more fun. Uh, so let's make this... Again, everything's going to be primarily black. Uh, but then let's also make this... White supports with a... A red nose. <laughs> a red clown nose. And then we'll make the cars red as well with a black chevron. I think that's nice. Those are our clown cars. And we can charge... I don't know how much yet. It's charging $1.50 for now. We'll come back to that once we get test results for it. Which will actually be a little bit because this is a fairly, fairly long ride. Not in the cars. It actually goes a lot quicker in cars than trucks or some other vehicles. But so far, this park is coming together. Let's build that... Uh, what did we unlock? A spiral slide? I want to see what all we can wedge into this area. Uh, we're going to make the bottom... We might try to make the bottom brown to let it fit in better with everything. Uh, but if we end up getting like a swinging ship or something, we can build it right here with the entr entrance and exit coming off this side so that I can actually do my entrance and exit back out onto the main path here. Let's actually do these across from each other. I think that always looks really cool when you've got two lines right across from each other. All right, and then let's make this... We need more black and orange in this park. Black and orange. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then the bottom will be black and white. That just looks so cool. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and open that. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, if we do black and orange in our entire park, that's going to really make everything pop. But black and red, it matches our walkways. I'm just torn with what color I want to do. If you guys have a color suggestion that you prefer, let me know and I'll change it. Um, but I'm going to be recording this episode and the next one here back to back because I'm going on vacation for three days very soon after this. Uh, so I won't be able to change it right away, but I will be able to change it once I get back, which will be the last two episodes on this park. So, long story short, if you want me to change it, it can happen, but it won't happen right away. Uh, but our clown car is actually pretty exciting. 308 So we'll charge $3 for that. And then our slide, which I don't believe we changed to unlimited. We did not. That's okay. Uh, we'll keep it at single rides per mission, because we can still charge a buck fifty. And the slide. Ooh. Slaughter slide. <laughs> I like it. Slaughter slide is ready to kill it. Pun intended. <laughs> oh, we just got a steel coaster? Oh, we got to round this episode off by building a steel coaster. That will. That will scream first episode in a park, adding a steel coaster. And I'm actually wanting to do two of these, again, for money making sake, but also, you'll, you'll see it. I'm only gonna do one this episode, but this is actually going to start at ground, not ground level, at height eight here. Uh, so we'll add a station right there and then back this off. And let me do height marks on uh, path real quick. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's okay. So when we build the other one, it'll need to go. Let me actually just put it there so I know where it's going. It'll actually be going next to that one. Uh, and I'm just going to leave that there for now because it doesn't really matter where it's going. Uh, but for this one, I have something cool in mind. And if it'll work, it'll be awesome. If it won't work, it'll still be awesome, just in a different way. Uh, that actually probably needs to back off. I want to see if I can do a loop around this. And it's not looking like I'll be able to. That's unfortunate. Um, that's okay, though. 
let's just do... I don't want station going under that because it kind of clips a little bit. But let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's have this be reverse incline. Not enough cash. We'll take out another two grand to finish this thing. One, two, three... Ooh, yeah, so that's at 19. Let me actually back the station off by one. Uh, the reason for that being it's a shorter car, so it can get up higher and have more... I don't know. If you have a long train, when the back gets up here, the front's going to be, like, right here, and that won't be exciting at all for them. But if you shorten it, the front will be higher up, so it still feels like they're falling. I don't know if it actually affects the ride, but I think it works out better. Um, and so we'll actually do two loops back to back right left and then we'll go under this and right up and that works out perfectly height wise we started at 19 we end at 19 i was gonna say let's actually go ahead and do the second one right now but we will add that next time and we're actually going to hang off on naming this until next episode because it kind of requires the two rides to be built for it to make any sense. We will go ahead and paint it, though. Uh, let's do this one black with orange supports. That looks so cool. And orange trim. Ooh, I like that. That's so cool looking. Actually, can I do... Ooh, I can. I might come back and paint individual areas of this once I add the second one. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So for now, I will leave you with a testing of Roller Coaster 1 in reverse incline launch mode without a painted car because I forgot and it'll look cooler when we do it next episode. But that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you guys next time. And as always, nope. Oh, I failed that outro bad. <laughs> We're gonna add an entrance and exit. Oops. Okay, scratch that. We'll test this first. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's watch that. It's what, four cars in length? Just to make sure this thing actually works. I don't know why I was trying to outro there. That clearly wasn't enough time <laughs> for me to do this successfully. It makes one. It makes two. And it goes up perfectly. I actually think this would look better if we did one more. That train looks awkwardly short. So let's do that. And that gives us six cars per train. We'll test that once more as we add our exit. perfect and I love I love this whole not having to hire staff thing it's so nice that train looks a little bit more reasonable as far as height goes or length is concerned and it still works out just perfectly all right guys and with that that's gonna do it for this episode thank you guys very much for watching I hope you're excited for our spooky theme first things first when we get back next time we will build this ride's partner name it, paint it, and we will have a little a little test run with both of them. It's going to be pretty sweet. But okay, guys, I hope you guys are getting excited for Halloween. I know I am. I am excited for this park because it's focused around Halloween. But that's enough. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And until then, as always, take care. <laughs>